Programmatic advertising is a leading technique for buying and selling digital ads online. For publishers, this opened lucrative ways to monetize their digital content, while advertisers could reach their target audience effectively and at scale. In this video, we will explore what programmatic advertising is, how it works, its benefits, and best practices. But first, show some support to this video so we can create more content like this and if you're new here, subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our upcoming videos. Let's start with the basics. What exactly is programmatic advertising? Programmatic advertising is the automated process of buying and selling digital ads. It uses artificial intelligence and machine learning to automate the real-time purchase of ads instead of engaging in human negotiations and paying predefined prices like it was done before. Programmatic advertising is the leading method of buying and selling ads today because of its efficiency, targeting capabilities, improved return on investment, and increased transparency and control. It enables advertisers to precisely and effectively reach their target audience, and it benefits publishers by providing them with a more efficient way to sell ad space. Programmatic advertising has many moving parts, there are four main components that create a basic programmatic advertising ecosystem. Demand-side platform, also known as DSP. Supply-side platform, also known as SSP. Data management platform, also known as DMP. And an ad exchange. Let's go through each of these components. First, DSPs. Advertisers use DSPs to configure their preferences for audience targeting and purchase publisher's ad space. DSP companies include Google Display and Video 360, Xander, MediaMath, and Adobe Advertising Cloud. Second, SSPs. It's a software that enables publishers to sell ad space to a large pool of demand partners at the best price, thanks to multiple bidders participating in the auction. Some of the most popular SSP companies are OpenX, Xander, and Pomatic. Third, DMPs. DMPs help to gather, arrange, and analyze data and are used by both SSPs and DSPs to match ads with the right target audience. This information can come from the ad buyer's first-party and third-party data sources. DMP examples include Nielsen, Latame, Oracle, and Salesforce Audience Studio. For more information on how SSPs, DSPs, and DMPs work, watch this video. Fourth, an ad exchange. Ad exchanges sit in the middle of the programmatic ecosystem. It's where DSPs and SSPs meet to negotiate a price and trade inventory. Here are the main six steps to simplify how programmatic advertising works. First, the publisher lists available ad space on an ad exchange using an SSP. This is usually performed by a monetization platform if the publisher is partnered with one. Second, a publisher's website contains a pixel that sends data to a DMP about the website, the user, and the ad space. Third, an advertiser configures the targeting and budget parameters for their ads using a DSP. Fourth, to find inventory on the ad exchange that best suits the advertiser's needs, the DSP connects with the DMP. Then a request is sent to the auction. Fifth, the ad exchange selects the highest paying ad that best matches the impression opportunity. Sixth, to display the ad to the user on the publisher's website, the DSP sends it back to the SSP. Programmatic advertising auction types for buying and selling. There are two main auction types of programmatic advertising, first price and second price auctions. In a first price auction, the winning bidder pays an amount equal to its bid price, so the highest bidder pays what they bid exactly. In a second price auction, the winning bidder pays an amount that's one cent more than the bid price of the second highest bidder. Due to Google's recent shift to exclusively using first price auctions, second price auctions have become almost obsolete in the programmatic advertising industry. There are also several types of programmatic advertising, each with its own characteristics and benefits. Some of the most common types of programmatic advertising include header bidding, exchange bidding, real-time bidding, 
open auctions, private marketplace, programmatic guaranteed, and preferred deals. Let's go through each of these. First, header bidding. Header bidding is a programmatic technology in which publishers simultaneously offer their ad inventory to many demand partners. Enabling multiple demand partners to bid on the same ad inventory creates more competition. Therefore, it allows publishers to sell their ad inventory for the highest price. Second, exchange bidding. Exchange bidding, also known as open bidding or EBDA, is Google's server-to-server -server header bidding technology that enables publishers to invite multiple third-party ad exchanges in an auction for their ad inventory. With open bidding, demand partners compete in real-time bidding on a first-price auction basis against other bidders in Google Ad Manager. Third, real-time bidding. Like the name suggests, in real-time bidding, ad space is sold through an auction process in real-time. Transactions are completed with the time it takes to load a web page less than a second. RTB is a programmatic method of buying and selling inventory and is often conducted using a cost per thousand impressions or CPM pricing model. As a result, relevant advertisers compete for inventory to reach publishers' audiences and the open spots go to the ones with the highest CPMs. Fourth, open auction. The open auction is the most popular form of programmatic auction. Here, publishers allow hundreds of demand partners to bid on their inventory simultaneously through SSPs. As a result, publishers can achieve maximum yield. Fifth, private marketplace. It is an auction with a limited number of advertisers selected by the publisher. Private marketplace benefits publishers because they can sell their premium inventory for higher prices. Similarly, advertisers can get a chance to selectively bid on a more valuable inventory. Sixth, programmatic guarantee. Here, the publishers and advertisers directly negotiate the terms of the deal reserved for that specific advertiser. The publisher then agrees to sell a fixed number of impressions to the buyer for a fixed price. Buyers can preview placements and choose which ones they want to buy. Despite not being an auction, programmatic guarantee is considered a highly cost-effective method of media selling and is usually reserved for a very valuable inventory. 7. Preferred deals In preferred deals, there's no auction process. Publishers offer their ad inventory to selected advertisers at a negotiated fixed CPM. Advertisers have the chance to preview the inventory before they decide to buy it. Once both parties have reached an agreement, the buyer gets a preferred opportunity to bid on that inventory when there is an ad request. There are five key benefits of programmatic advertising. First, increased efficiency and speed. Programmatic advertising automates the buying and placement of online ads, making the process faster and more efficient. It's more accurate and efficient since no human factor is involved. Second, better targeting capabilities. Since it uses data and algorithms to target the right audience at the right time, it leads to better ad engagement and conversions. Third, improved ROI. Advertisers can measure the success of their campaigns in real time, improving their return on ad spend. For publishers, programmatic advertising allows them to manage and organize their ad placements across all programmatic channels. Fourth, increased transparency. Programmatic advertising provides advertisers with tools to measure and optimize the effectiveness of their ad campaigns through bid level data. This data can include information such as the cost per impression or CPM, the bid amount, and the targeting criteria used for a given advertising campaign. Publishers, on the other hand, are equipped with information about the buying process, including which advertisers are bidding on their inventory and at what price. Fifth, scalability. Programmatic advertising is highly scalable. The use of automated technology and algorithms allows programmatic advertising to efficiently target and deliver ads to large audiences at scale, reducing the manual effort required to execute and manage campaigns. But what are the best practices for programmatic advertising? Let's start with the importance of data management. In programmatic advertising, 
data is used to inform the real-time bidding algorithms that make decisions about which ads to show to which users. This data comes from a variety of sources, including cookies, device IDs, and third-party data identifiers. To handle, organize, and make use of all this data, publishers frequently turn to DMPs. To ensure compliance with various privacy legislations, consent management platforms, or CMPs, must be in use on the publisher's website that comply with IAB's transparency and consent framework. Next, proper setup of programmatic advertising campaigns. To get started with programmatic advertising, advertisers first need to research, set goals, and determine their creative strategy. This involves setting KPIs and choosing the right creative medium, such as banner, video, native, and in-app ads as well as picking a DSP responsible for controlling and optimizing ad spend. Publishers, on the other hand, should begin by optimizing their websites and determining their monetization goals. This includes adding and removing SSPs, taking care of header bidding implementation, maintaining high ad quality standards, and monitoring malvertising. Finally, regular monitoring and optimization. It is a crucial step in programmatic advertising which publishers often outsource to a monetization partner. Optimization can help identify areas for improvement, such as underperforming ad formats or ad placements, for fill rates, ad viewability, and price floor management. For advertisers, this step is equally important to ensure that ads are served to the right audience at the right time and with the right message. This can increase engagement, conversions, and ROI. And that's a wrap. Let us know in the comments if you are a publisher or an advertiser, and what's your experience with programmatic advertising. Bye, and see you next time.